Chef Buck here, and this morning we're going to cook up an egg bake, an egg bread bake. We couldn't decide on the name. <laughs> it's egg and it's bread. But look at that. It sounds like Cameron Girl's head. <gasps> you know what I'm not going to It's a nice, crusty, older piece of bread, and we're going to cut it up into some cubes, and I'm going to cut it up into some good size uh, chunks. Hear how crunchy that is? And you can cut it into some smaller pieces, but I like the nice big chunky pieces. Gives it a very rustic look. So now we'll throw this here in a bowl, a big bowl, because we're going to mix everything up. Alrighty, so there we have our bread cubed and ready to go. And I like to keep a little bit of a crust on each cube. I like to slice it that way so that it helps to hold the cubes together. When we mix it up with the egg and the milk. And we don't really keep any milk around the house, so I'm going to put a little half and half in here. But you could use a little bit of yogurt, you could use some uh, regular milk, half and half, whatever you have on hand. Put in a little bit of milk, and not a super duper lot, because I don't want this to be an overly wet dish. And we'll just whisk these together. So now I'm going to mix this in with my bread, and I'm not going to pour it all in here at once. I'm gonna do just a little bit, boom, 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 and mix it up. Because I don't want to pour it all in here and just get some of my cubes super duper soaked. So I'll add it piecemeal so that I'm not destroying the integrity of my cubes. Because I don't want this to be a mushy, mushy dish. I don't want this to be like a bread pudding. I want the integrity of the cubes to remain so that it has a very hearty, bready look to it. So that's it. So now we got our bread coated. And now I'm going to add the seasoning. And you can adjust the seasonings as you like. I got a little bit of paprika right here. Then I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And I like, I like to add a little bit of the seasoning, then stir it, and then add a little bit more. And that way I'm coating the outside with a little bit of seasoning. And some black pepper. Because I could have added all these seasonings in with the egg and with the milk, but I like to add it afterwards. I think it makes the dish a little bit more colorful. And then that way all the seasonings kind of outside and it will roast in the oven. So there's my dried seasoning. Now you could add a little uh, chipotle or a little red pepper if you want. I'm actually going to put a little bit of finely chopped jalapeno in here. Spicy buck. You know, add a nice little bit of uh, color. And then I got two chopped up green onions. Again, this is optional, but I think it adds a nice color and flavor. We got big chunks of bread. You want to make it flavorful. Yeah, you don't want to go light on the seasonings because, yeah, this is a lot of bread. Now I got some dried oregano. Quite a little bit. I'm going to give it a rub between my hands. Mash that around, spread it around, get that oregano, get those dried seasonings over everything. And now this is the key ingredient, I think. A lot of dried rosemary. And just like the oregano, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give it a rub between my hands. You know, break it up a little bit. Start to activate those flavors. And lots of it. You can really smell that rosemary. So we got our bread all seasoned up there. And now I'm going to add a little bit of cheese, just a wee little bit. I got some freshly grated cheddar and a little Parmesan here. And I think that's going to be a plenty right there. I'm not going to go overly crazy on the cheese because I don't want this to be a cheese bread. That little bit of cheese flavor is nice and it's going to act like a little bit of a glue too. So I'm going to get it all mixed up. Now I'm going to take my dish, an oven safe dish, and I'm going to lightly grease it. A little bit of butter. Butter substitute, whatever you have on hand. Just go ahead and rub it all around the bottoms and the sides because we're going to fill this dish up. So now we're going to spoon our bread cubes into our dish. Get all the goodness out of here, all the flavor out of my bowl. Don't want to waste any of it. And we could bake this just like this and have a nice little onion and cheese loaf. But we want this to be our breakfast. We want this to be a nice little brunch item. So we're going to fancy it up with some egg topping. So we got our bread spread out nice and flat. So we want to press down and make four little depressions with our spoon or as big a dish as it is. You know, you can make twice as much. You know, if you have a longer dish, just use more bread and make a bigger portion. Alrighty, so now I'm going to break my eggs on here and try not to break the yolk so it's nice and pretty. 
We'll see how that works out. If one of them busts, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh-oh. I think that one busted. I got some shell in there. So I got to dig out my shell. Look at that. And guess what? We're all going to live. We're all going to survive. It's not the end of the world. I'd say let's you know? get that other piece of shell out. It's not going to be that pretty, but guess what? I wasn't that pretty. You know, when I was younger, I didn't look this good. <laughs> But everything worked out for the best. <laughs> Alrighty, let's see if I can do better on these other ones. Boop. So there we have it. Didn't take long at all to throw this dish together. But it's going to take a little while to bake. So we're going to throw it in the oven. Let it bake away until the eggs are done to the doneness that we like them done. Let's see how long that is. So it has been 40 minutes, Calbutamos that is, except for this one, this is where I busted the yolk. But look at that, it's almost perfect. You can melt some cheese on top of here if you want, camera girl likes that. Do you want me to put some cheese on here and melt it? Maybe half, maybe just a little bit. Well, I'll slide it back in the oven for just a few moments, melt that cheese. How's that look, cheesy enough for you camera girl? Mm. It just looks really fantastic, and it's got a lot of flavors. We put a lot of seasoning in there, and you could cut it right now. It makes four serving with a little egg on top. Just super fancy pants. If you're trying to, uh, you know, cut out the bread, you know, like me and Cameron girl, we eat a lot less bread now than we used to. But if you're trying to reduce uh, the bread in your diet, uh, then don't eat this. <laughs> don't eat this. And if you got an old crusty, you know, piece of bread that's past its prime, you know, like cube, you. Cube, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, just cut a portion for each egg that you have on there. Give it a try, camera girl. Get you a nice eggy, bready bite. Alrighty. Is there enough rosemary in there? Mm -hmm. You know, can't be too shy with the rosemary. Now I now it baked for about forty minutes, but it's not dried out, is it? No, no, the bread is still moist. I can see how moist it is. And even the egg isn't totally dried out, but it's definitely cooked through. Oh, you can taste the green onion too. Yeah. Mm. See, that yolk is done. I mean, it's not a runny yolk. It just looks really nice having that egg on top of there. But it's a nice little eggy flavor. Oops, that's too big a bite. Oh my gosh, for you <laughs> to say that. I know. All right. It's really good. It's a great little breakfast treat, brunch treat. If you want to print this recipe, go to myfoodchannel.com. You can print all our recipes there. Sign up for our mailing list. Get all our recipes delivered into your inbox. Thanks for watching and subscribing and uh, sharing the video and liking the video, doing all the things to the video that the video wants you to do. And uh, we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.